Okay, welcome everybody. I'm from Durham University and we have year two from Hotspur Primary School here from Newcastle. So thanks for coming along to support the launch of a, a video, a cartoon. And the cartoon, these children are going to sing for the animation that we're going to watch. But we're talking today about soil and we're trying to make the link between soil and water and flooding. So can anybody tell me what soil is made of? Yes, Dea. Um, minerals. What was that? Minerals. Excellent, minerals. Water, water and dead leaves. Whoa, that is the answer in a nutshell. Excellent. Rock, water and dead leaves. There's one other thing, possibly two other things. Anybody think of the two other things? Yep. Shout out loudly. Crushed rock, yep, yeah. so we've got rock, water, dead leaves. What about the wriggly things in soil? Yep, yeah, Ethan? Worms. Worms, excellent. So there's living things, okay, and there's one more thing. Things that roots need, not just water, but they also need something that they... Yep, yeah, Jimmy? They need nutrients, but they need air as well, okay. So, a healthy soil is made of bits of crushed rock, which are the minerals that you talked about, some dead leaves, and also some water and air. So what does soil do then? Yep? Well, it helps plants grow. It helps plants grow. Excellent. That's one of its most important jobs. What other jobs does soil have? Food, it's food for worms, uh -huh. it's a living thing. There's lots of things in soil that need food from the soil. All those dead leaves get eaten, don't they? Anything else that soil does? Anything in relation to water? What's the relationship between soil and water? Yeah? Anybody else? Yep, at the back there? Sunlight. Sunlight is a very important part of the relationship between soil and water because it, it, it controls how much water goes into the soil, doesn't it, with evaporation. What I was getting at was puddles. When do puddles form on the soil? Yep. Yeah, and you get muddy puddles. Excellent. What I want to do now is demonstrate to you the relationship between soil and water. A healthy soil has the right mix of the solid bits, the minerals, and the water and air. Okay, so can I have, please, the soil people up onto the stage? And what I want you to do is to hold hands and face the audience and have your, yeah, you stand quite far apart from each other. That's it. Now, this is a healthy soil because the bits of soil, the mineral, the, bit, the solid bits of soil, the mineral, are nicely spaced and there's plenty of place for water to get in between. Can we have the water people on stage, please? Now, water people, try and get through. Excellent. This is a healthy soil. Now, Water people come to the top, yep, you stand there. Now, soil, can you become unhealthy, please? Excellent, water people try and get through now, in between the arms. You can't get in because it's too squashed, it's too dense, or somebody has poured concrete on it, okay? Thank you very much, can we have a round of applause for the soil and the water people? Okay, so now we know what a healthy soil is and what an unhealthy soil is. We're ready to launch the animation, but before we do that, we need all the children to stand up because this is where you are singing and face the audience and get your best singing voices ready. And we're ready to launch. Drained away, the rains came down and the water. 
to train the way. And the house and the soils they climb. Foolish man, put concrete around his house. Foolish man, put concrete around his house. The foolish man put concrete around his house. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came whoosh. The rains came down and the floods came whoosh.